The focus of this training video is to show you how to get to and use the Georgia LDS resource page. To go get to the Georgia LDS resource page, you'll log in the Power Teacher just as if you were going to enter grades or attendance. On the left hand side, you'll see in the list Georgia LDS. Click that. It will take you out to the LDS page. At the top, you'll have options. You'll want to click on resources because that's what we're looking for, resources. You'll then get to a resource page where you can search resources. There are different options to search by. You'll, want to, you'll have to tell it what grade level you want, what subject area, the course, and the standards. You can choose the element if you like or you can just leave it blank. Once you've selected all the criteria for your search, click Get Resources. You'll notice that the, there are a variety of tabs here to your right. You have Student Tools, Teacher Tools, Curriculum Tools, Course Tools, and Folders. The Student Tools has all types of information. You will uh, search these. You can click the plus button here. It gives you a description of this activity, what grades it's for, what standard it is for. Every, because this is, I've chosen this standard, anything I choose down here, anything I search, it's going to be connected to this standard. So this gives you information on the resource. And you just simply get to that by clicking the plus sign. Once you find a resource that you like, you just need to click on it and it will open. You might have some type of lesson plan type um, resource or if you go to interactive or any kind of class, any kind of these resource classifications, I'm going to click interactive. I'm going to click this activity. If for some reason this comes up, there may be um, a Java issue. Um, if it doesn't play, look, at, look up in your URL bar and make sure there's not a red X and it's being blocked. If it is, tell it to unblock it by just clicking on it. And here is just an activity all the activities are different. You can see they come from different places. This one comes from Scholastic. And you just use the activity as you need. Um, all of these are listed like this. You can change your standard. You can change your subject. You can change your grade. Um, just once you change whatever your criteria is for your search, click Get Resources, and again, here are Student Tools. You have an option to Teacher Tools. A lot of the Teacher Tools are similar to the Student Tools, but it's worth a look. Again, you just click the plus sign to get a description of what this resource is, where it came from. You also have these tools that say Curriculum Tools. Um, in this particular, sometimes the Curriculum Tools are just links to maybe the standard page on the Georgia DOE um, or other things. This one just happens to have a few of the books here, but you can see here it has um, the, C the Common Core um, ELA unit by unit right here. So if you need access to um, a portion of the unit, you can have it there. Um, again, course tools are very similar. Um, they actually, this one says no resources available. I would need to change this. It, let's see if I can find something. It would have um, links and resources here as well. And these are folders that you can create. Um, you can actually create a folder and I have that in another. Um, you just click on it and click save resources. I have that in another training video. This video is mainly just to get you to 
the resources. These have been updated since the last time we did trainings in the school system, and there are so many resources now in the LD, Georgia LDS. So you should check them out. And email me at chaskins at worthtoschools.net if you have a question.